Painful. Yeah. All right, spawning in the top right hand corner, the new player for SCA Gaming. It is Hyper. And in the bottom right hand corner, he is up 1 0 for his team, Gravity Gaming. It is Beast. Good luck, have fun coming out. You know, I wish I could find the person who initially started off the GLHF at the beginning of games, because I hate that tradition. As if it's bad mannered not to say it back when your opponent does. It's kind of stupid. Yeah, I don't know about wishing luck on my opponent. I tell them to have fun. Then why not enjoy yourself? It just sounds like such a weird thing to say. Like you're in a hockey game with a bunch of buddies and you go up to the other team and you're like, Good luck, have fun! I just <laughs> you know what actually originated that. from one of the older Warcraft games? I read this somewhere. And what it meant was good luck haul first. Like basically telling their opponent not to cheese them because back then the other option was apparently broken. Hmm. Makes more sense. Yeah. And then um, people kept be doing it even in later games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it basically was that. It was kind of an agreement between players to play properly. And... Let's get At some point, on some people didn't know where it came from, so they just assumed HF meant have fun, right? Because what else is it going to mean? They don't know what Hall First means. And Beast from Gravity Gaming has opted to go for the barracks on the high ground first, but he has not placed down his Vespian Geyser yet, so it looks like this is going to be an old school one racks expand. Yeah, I've been seeing a lot of people do this on Whirlwind, uh, not in like Korean level, but uh, they get the third CC up with Gasless still, and it's a little safer to some all ins that Zerg players like to do on the four player map. Mm, it's a little bit strange because if you get the if you get the CC on 14 on the high ground and then you place down the racks at 15 right away, you're actually safe from six pulls as well. It actually walls up completely by the time it gets there. And yeah, It's actually safer from early pulls fun. than the low ground CC yeah. after one rack. Playing racks, racks is a little bit overdoing the safeness. Yeah. You may as well just download map hack if you're really scared of getting cheesed. I think it's more efficient, but... That's just my opinion, so who knows? I don't. Yeah, he did the depot cutting version and... Uh, he didn't throw down double gas though, so th this is the riskiest version of the one rex. Yeah, this is a little bit odd. I mean, there is a small metagame as to why players did stop doing this in the GSL, because if you actually went something ridiculous like three hatches before a pool, if the Terran player didn't cut, if the Terran player cut the SCV, I mean the supply depot, you wouldn't actually be able to just walk across the map and bunker in one of your expansions. So it's really leaves him very limited to what he can do against the Zerg player. He is scouting most likely for Overlords right now, and unfortunately for him, he is going to miss this one, but there is a ton of airspace on Whirlwind, so pretty sure Hyper's Overlord is going to be just fine. And look at this, Beast actually playing super safe to super safe, putting down that bunker very early with three Marines out on the map already. And but he did he double gas, actually. Opponent, so, yeah. Do you think this gas timing is indicative of a third base? Uh pretty quickly here, or what? Well, it could really be indicative of a Banshee opening, but then again... Yeah, it could even be Heli and Banshee. <laughs> I, I think think... usually they do the double gas like before the depot still, when the depot You can goes. do it right after the depot, maybe get a th your third slightly quicker. I but it's hard I think... to tell. I mean, if we're going to put efficiency into this, then if he wanted to do Hellbat style, he should have opened Reapers, so pretty much just going to have to go and see what he wants to do. This is just his build. And the Zerg player is actually getting double gas at 36. So this is actually a pretty quick double gas for a four queen opening. It's going to allow him to take his third base a little bit faster if he does opt to go into roaches. And a lot of players are actually doing that now, ever since Solki kind of popularized the defensive roach strategy into a third base and then back into Muta. And it looks like the economy of Hyper is going to be gearing up for that. As is, Beast is being extremely aggressive with these Marines, actually going all over the place, and unfortunately for him, he doesn't really have information as to whether Hyper has three bases or two bases, but he is just going to be going straight into that very popular hyper-aggressive drop style, most likely with Hellbats, and he's actually building two mines here at the beginning to be safe from any all-in, so he's really producing a lot from that early gas that he got, and that's really going to hurt his economy later on because he's actually only on 26 workers. And six of them are actually mining gas, and he's only on three production cycles with no third CC. So these yeah, Hellbat drops are going to have to do a lot of damage. Going the one racks expand into defensive play like this is especially punishing on your economy. And he didn't even find out the gas timings of the Zerg player, so 
That's why he's forced to make these two widow mines if he wants to, you know, not be taking risk essentially. But that sort of contradicts how he sent his marines across the map. Like, if you don't know their gas timing, then you could just get caught by a wave of speedlings instantly and then have nothing at home in a bunker. East here putting a lot of resources into units that are rather cheeky in what they might be able to do into the mid game, but not a very efficient build. No third CC as of yet. Trying to fit in a star, a, a Viking into this build when this build is so close cut that it actually needs to be placed down so that the third CC goes down right as the drop kind of goes out. But just putting minerals into too many defensive structures, putting minerals into things that might actually get one or two overload kills, but not very necessary if your main goal is just to do economic damage. Yeah, I mean, this killing this overlord is nice, limiting the scouting is nice, supply blocking hyper, or forcing him to waste larva on more overlords is nice, but uh, it's not, it's not going to be enough to make up for uh, the Widow Mines he, early he made, the one Rax Expanded set of CC first, the no third CC, like, it's... It's just, he, he would have to kill like 10 overlords for it to justify all of what he did. So he's going to have to kill a lot to with this too, drop. Beast actually waited for a reactor to finish on the initial starport in order to start producing his medevac. So even though he's going to be able to have a very powerful drop oh, he made, right now. He made it off of the barracks and swapped. Yeah, it's going to be it's gonna be at a 9 minute timing and that's extremely late compared to normal. 50 drones actually is quite low at this time. But still, this is going to give Hyper a lot of time to be completely safe against this. Two queens at the third base, and defensive spores at both the natural and the initial base. So, a very good setup here by Hyper. Double eBay from Beast here, so he's going to try and go into a bio style off of the low econ. Could be a tough transition for him to pull off. I think that even emphasizes the damage he has to do with these Hellbot drops. Beast is actually going to go straight into the main, he's able to ninja his way through the little airspace in the top left hand corner of the base. And Hyper doing an excellent job pulling off his workers, hasn't really lost much economy as of yet. And luckily for him his roaches are already here, but he does actually snipe the queen. Almost gets the spore, but Beast has lost one medevac and that means he's only going to be able to swing two and the last queen actually ends up sniping it. So, that was a snipe. very good defense indeed. Yeah, yeah. that was impressive. I think Hyper has been running into a lot of Hellbat drops lately as a clean reaction, no sloppiness, and clear focus with all the units and what he wanted to do there. And it looks like Hyper is going straight into Roach Ling with Baneling speed, but even though this style is really powerful, he was supply blocked for almost 30 seconds now, and he's only on 45 drones because he wasn't able to rebuild them after, even though he only lost five. And doing this type of aggression is extremely difficult for players of the Terran race to deal with without tanks, but you really have to have a very booming economy, and you can see that he doesn't really have enough to afford a very powerful timing push. He only has 96 supply to 91, and he is going to be building Banelings at the front, but look at this, he has one Vespian gas and only seven Banelings being morphed, and I don't think that's going to be enough. You know, these Hellbats are actually doing some pretty good work here at the Natural, much more successful than the first effort, and that Viking actually picked off three Overlords with supply block Hyper a bit before this push, and Widowmind does not connect with the Banelings, but still there's a good Roach count retained to push into here, and SCVs are forced off the line. An excellent decision here by Beast to actually pull these SCVs. If he was actually a little bit later with this, all of the units would have died, and then he would have had a lot of trouble dealing with these initial Roaches, but as is, he does have two Metavacs, able to get that, up that Supply Depot. Very good job here by Beast, and he only lost <laughs> 20, uh, 9 workers. Oh, well, he actually ended up killing 27 that we did actually miss. So yeah. 23 drones to 52 SCVs and 3 CCs being produced. A little bit of the rallying links here coming in, but look at the economy of Hyper. It's completely crap right now. One gas. I don't know how you get one gas. That is going to be GG and Beast now is up 2-0 for his team in the, in this best of something. Yeah, best well, he of had, something. He had two guys.